a possibility. For example, there's something called the inflationary multiverse. So one of our best theories of how our universe got to be the way that it is, is that before the Big Bang, then space and time still existed. And space was stretching very fast. It's a theory called inflation. And then that period of time draws to a close. So the, the, the expansion rate, this incredibly fast expansion rate, slows down. And kind of the energy driving it collapses, changes form or state. And that's what we call the Big Bang. So the Big Bang is the end of inflation. Extensions of that, called eternal inflation, say or suggest that maybe that, that collapse at the, the end of inflation, maybe it doesn't all stop at once. So you, essentially, you have to picture patches of this rapidly expanding space that are sort of collapsing and making big bangs, which make universes. And so that, the, the process is called eternal inflation, because it, for all we know, it could have been going on forever, in, in a sense, and would be going on now, if that was correct. So we would just be a bubble uh, in this in, in sea, an infinite sea of universes, uh, of which we're a single bubble, and that's called the inflationary multiverse.